guys and welcome to this slightly impromptu video. This is how to troubleshoot any problems that you may encounter when you're using your computer. Unfortunately, problems will occur, whether they happen to you often or not very often, depends on where you get your products from and what products they are. But today, I have a problem. And as you can probably guess, it's with this monitor here, which is only a week old. Now, it was working fine for a week but then suddenly this happened now the thing is it's not what the problem is it's working out why it's happening and what you need to do to sort it out so you say this monitor is flashing on and off so obviously that's no good so turn that off now the same procedure goes for any sort of problem and um, the thing is you want to find out what the problem is so, in this case, there's something wrong with the monitor, but is it something wrong with the monitor? Is it something wrong with the graphics card? Or is it something wrong with the cable? Now, the first thing that I would suggest you do is to Google your problem. Now, if you Google your problem, then a lot of the time someone will have already had this problem and will have solved it for you. So, if you've got a problem with a certain game and you're not getting the amount of frames or, or anything that's going wrong, just Google the problem and likelihood is you'll come up with a solution. In this case it's not quite the same because it's a hardware issue rather than a software issue. So the best thing to do for a hardware issue is to determine which bit of hardware isn't working. So what I have done with this one is enable the monitor. So I've disabled it again. But enable the monitor and see if you can reproduce the problem more than once. In this case it's happening all the time. So this looks like it might be something to do with the refresh rate. Maybe it's not display. It's clearly not displaying something, right? So we check the refresh rate is the right. So go in, and your monitor will actually tell you at the bottom somewhere what it's receiving. So this is actually receiving the correct resolution and the correct frequency. We can check in the computer in the NVIDIA control panel or through the Windows control panel or through the AMD Catalyst software. But the graphics card is doing what it's supposed to be doing and it's outputting the right resolution to the monitor. So that rules out that the computer is not doing what it should be. The computer is outputting the right information to the monitor. Now, it's a lot, lot easier if you have spare hardware. In this case, I've got three different screens that I can test. So what I did is I switched all my inputs around on my graphics card, kept all the same cables exactly how they were, just plugged them into different ports. That way, I would know if one of the ports on my graphics card wasn't working properly. But I changed them all around, and this kept happening on each of the ports, and this one was the same on all of the ports. So we've ruled out that the graphics card is causing a problem. The next thing to do is swap the cables around. So I swapped out the DVI cable, and I used HDMI to DVI lead. I know that that lead works, plugged it in, same thing's happening. So by doing that, we've ruled out that there's anything wrong with the cables. So what that leaves us with is that there's a problem with the monitor. Now, it could be something very minor, or it could be something quite major. So there's only two things really it could be. It could either be there's a problem with the monitor, or there's a problem with the interfaces on the monitor. So the next thing to do is to switch from DVI to a different input. So this monitor has DisplayPort and VGA. So switch it to VGA. And when we switched to VGA, it did actually work for about a minute, and then like it is now, still on VGA, it keeps doing this and obviously this is not usable at all. So by doing that we've ruled that it's the monitor that's not working and it's the monitor that's going to have to go back and be changed. So that's how you troubleshoot your computer hardware. So obviously it's not always going to be a monitor and I will stop this flashing because it's annoying me as well as it probably is annoying you. So we've managed to troubleshoot that likelihood is we can't be 100% sure but we've swapped all, swapped all the things around and the only thing that was consistently not working was the monitor itself. So we send the monitor back. But it's not just monitors that you can troubleshoot this way. You might have a problem where your computer's not switching on at all. In that case, you again want to find out where the problem is. Is it the power supply? Is it the RAM? Is it the motherboard? Is it the processor? And unfortunately, if you don't have any spare parts around, then that is going to be a bit more difficult to do. But if you have spare parts around, then great. 
If, you're, if you can't get into the BIOS of your computer, then it could be the monitor. It could, actually, and this is a big deal. I had a problem when I first got my computer, and that's what I was... I had a problem when I was trying to set up my computer for the first time and I was using a TV. The TV didn't actually accept the basic input from the BIOS and although everything was fine with the computer, it was the TV that wasn't displaying the BIOS so everything was working, it's just that the TV didn't accept the input. Once you've changed to a different display that works. So you've got to keep trying different things until you know what the problem is and then you can remove that, put something else in and if it works it's fine. And another thing to do with a monitor problem is try it out on another computer, which I did, which with VGA it did work for a bit, but again, then it starts to fail. So unfortunately, it is a bummer, but the problem, and you've got to fix it. I hope this has helped, and I hope that if you ever have any problems, then you can be able to troubleshoot and work it out for yourself. However, if you ever need any help with anything, then the best way to contact me and ask for any advice is actually through Twitter. So I'll leave my Twitter address in the description below, and if you have any questions, just send me a tweet. And even if you don't, just follow me on Twitter and you can get some updates on what's going on and ask me any questions or give me any suggestions. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.